Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth installment of the DocCast podcast. I'm your host, Doc, and joining me today we have Mr. Nobody. Hi, I, and Ms. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Mr. Nobody did nothing wrong. You cannot prove that you did anything wrong. We exactly. have we have Zip Zap, up and coming Twitter artist. Yeah, bro. No, I'm I'm going to become a YouTuber, but I'm I'm, I'm really slow. Okay, uploading. shut up. And we have a All special right. guest from the Make a Wish Foundation, Smaggle Daggle. This this was your fucking idea, not mine. Yeah, shut it was. So so cope. Literally cope. You're in here. No, wait. You literally asked me to join the po- like the, the new the new dot cast. And now you're him. like, he's a short bus rider. Shut up, Dad. Dude, he's retarded. Come on, man. You don't yeah, I'll give him. Someone. I'll give him a break. I'll give him a break. Yeah. Our first topic that we wanted to discuss. I think it's pretty big. What's a day after the verdict? Kyle Rittenhouse. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you want to say? Gonna, are we not going to mention the big elephant in the room? Where's the non? I'll put a timestamp in of when he'll put his audio recording saying his goodbye mm-hmm. to the podcast because Anon will no longer be the co-host of the podcast, unfortunately. No ill will. It's just that he's a busy man. He's a very busy man. Rip he doesn't bozo, have time dude. for the dot cast, you know. It doesn't get his priorities straight, you know. Rip exactly. the bozo. Anyway, back to more important matters. Cal Rittenhouse. Oh, not guilty on all verdicts, dude. dude. Oh, baby. Dude. He literally it, fell down to the ground. I know. I was like, I was in te- I was almost in tears watching watching that. When they read out the know. verdicts, not guilty, man. That was it was something else. I don't know about you guys, but we haven't had like a good win in court. You know, this this was something that was really publicized by the media, by, you know, the left saying that, oh, this guy was Puppy a killer. They were, it was honestly, it was borderline, de- it was defamation. And he could probably Finally. sue them. Yeah, he could probably sue them. He's going to be, he's going to be oh, raking in, does. raking it in from suing all these media corporations, dude. I watched uh, Tank Huger on the, on the Young Turks, dude. This guy was, was calling him like a murderer. All right. I hope he gets sued. It's a dub. It's a dub, not only for Kyle, but for America, for, for our rights. And, and for Smaggle's rights. Yeah. <laughs> Smaggle, what do you think? What do you think about the the? What do you think about the trial? Do you think he was innocent or guilty? No, yeah, I, I was I was backing him all the way, but like, uh, dude, the best thing that came out of this was all the memes. Like, there was one really good one where like, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was crying, but it was uh, it was in front of all the all of, uh, like food. Because he's like a Nikocado avocado. Yeah, that was. Then, <laughs> oh my that was gosh. Great. And then there was another meme of uh, where Banger, the uh, prosecutor, is pointing a gun. And I, I found this image of the no Russian uh, Call of Duty uh, thing where they're all in the elevator and it's Bing is there as well. I saw one where it was, um, it was Call of Duty Moron Warfare, like the modern warfare uh, like art. <laughs> Except it, without Captain Price, it's literally Thomas Binger holding the AR-15. What's even more intriguing is the fact that they literally made they made fun of a guy for his PTSD. I mean, the memes were funny, right? But like his PTSD uh, was was pretty bad. Like he literally cried because you know he was trying to testify about Saying what it happened. Saying was fake and everything. Dude, yeah. LeBron James is an absolute retard. Dude, and Hassan then, was like fucking spurging out to that like crying scene from fucking Kyle. Yeah, and now we're all spurging out because he won and he has to cope. I mean, dude, we deserve the spurg. We have something. It, it's it's literally the American way to spurg about self defense and guns and seventeen year old men. I mean, <laughs> I no, 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 no. <laughs> all right, man, like wait. That. All right, Mr. Nobody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you no, don't I, I like him ripe. I like him ripe at the age of fifteen. So calm down, Buckaroo. Ripe at the Doc, age of fifteen. Doc is an. Do Doc is a fucking uh, gay pedophile? I can't. Believe <laughs> That's it. not true. I work for the federal government. I couldn't be a gay okay, and you oh, okay, and I was a there. Gay uh, Je- <laughs> hey, hey, Jeffrey Epstein worked for the federal government. Wait, did He's he? Still what was his job? Oh, yeah. Smile, do you know anything? You know a lot about Epstein, right? What was his job? Uh, what did he do? Professional so, rapist? No, no. Besides rumors, that, that's, no, that was a side from, hustle. There, there, are, there are rumors <laughs> that he, he worked with uh, the Israelis. Uh, it's like okay, a, doing uh, what? He really liked cheese pizza. Okay, we know uh, that. We have already established like, that. We're like, doing what? I don't believe it was like a hitman. It was like more like uh, finances and uh, selling children 
on the black market. Eddie, okay, I'm talking about what he act like what his actual day job is. Okay, are you saying his actual day job was selling children in the black market? Okay, okay, okay. His actual day job was um someone's secretary, basically, but like not really secretary, more like a their financial counselor that handled our rich people's finances. Oh, so you're saying you're but, implying that he's a certain certain kind of person. But but the reason the, how he got all that money was that he kind of kind of got he kind of got like rich old brain dead men uh to fucking like uh give uh Epstein like all the responsibility of their wealth. So that would mean like all of their wealth would also be belong to him as well as the guy. So that's how he got all that money. All right. Besides talking yeah. about <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. How did he go to Epstein? How did we get to Epstein? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Wait, hey, we went from on, Kyle on. Rittenhouse to Epstein. Michael, right, what are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's important. It's important because the. Fu how? The, the, well, the, this the, is the, too the autistic. Shane, the, the Shane Maxwell trials are going to be on on Tuesday uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, Tuesday the uh, Tuesday. Do you guys have any idea what he's talking about? <laughs> no, I, I really. What, what does this have to do with Epstein? What? <laughs> oh my God! The oh, Shane. Oh my God! God. <laughs> the, the Shane Maxwell was the girlfriend of Jeffrey Epstein, and she's on trial. Because yeah. she took part in fucking children. So Yeah, but this all originated with calling Doc a gay pedophile. What the yeah. fuck? I don't think Jeffrey Epstein is. is gay. Nor a <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just wanna say uh Doc is Jeffrey Epstein and Sipsap's Slain Maxwell. I just No Whoa What? Whoa Oh Smackle no. coming out with the pedophile allegations. Wait. Whoa, wait. Out the gate, bro. Listen, I'm just trying to record and, you know, have have a good time. No, we need pedo and, allegations. That's and now I got the smaggle daggle talking about the pedophiles and the and the children and the black market rings. This is 20 I, times better than what Aon could put out, dude. No, 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 no. I don't know, Dad, man. A -A -A Him well, debating Dave Chappelle on. with Bob is guys, pretty guys. entertaining. Why, Doc, why are you talking like Bill Cosby? You see, it's like those, those tendencies, bro. Oh, I don't know, Smaggle. Why am I talking like Bill Cosby? Am I answering that? I don't know. You probably slip movies in my drink. <laughs> What's wrong with the Cosby? <laughs> Dude, Bill Cosby is just an amazing American entertainer. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing else. Yeah, to doesn't say. anyone remember Little Bill? What? Who? But, yeah, the Little Bill show that was like it was no, about I, Bill Cosby shopping. Oh, yeah. I remember the Bill Cosby show and only the Bill Cosby show. And also Corey then, in the house, but then he ended up being a. a he ended up in the big vendor. house, bro. Yeah, he ended up being a fender. Dude, what is it with all these child actors? Well. Dude, they all just take part. They they all just like Drake Bell. They all like Drake <laughs> Bell. They watch Drake and Josh, and then they turn gay and they become pedophiles. That's that's how it is. Well, here here's the thing. They they were robbed of their childhood because like they were acting for basically all their time so they never learned social skills. so you're saying that they all just they, they all were they all uh, were yeah. zero they were unloved <laughs> they were they were all they they all got beat or let me put it this way domestic dispute domestic dispute then they joined the smash <laughs> community and then, then we all know what happens there this the rest is history zero stuff. yeah because zero yeah. got he got like molested by his dad when he was five and then Based. he ended up uh, talking to a fourteen year old about ice cubes. Or, or did Smaggle, he? did you just say Whoa. base that he got raped? Wait, Smaggle. Smaggle. Smaggle, you come out with the allegations against me, and then you're like, and then he's like, yeah, oh, zero, based. zero based rape, base. <laughs> I I feel like this fucking podcast is gonna get hit with like a community guideline strike it almost probably immediately. Will. Tire cast, you sure this kept streaming? I don't know why you listen to me. Uh, yeah, oh, you yeah, really because somebody was in my streaming. fucking live chat calling me a nerd. Well, I didn't You're expect Smag well, I didn't, ex dude. well, I didn't expect Smaggle to come over here and start talking about Jeffrey Epstein, you know, dude, calling you, me a gay you, pedophile. I didn't, dude, and you're, calling you're fucking coping, dude. You're coping. Well, this is what happens when oh, you yeah, all right. You're pulling a literal Nicholas Diorio. You're pulling this should be the new autism hours. <laughs> 
It's it's POV. a spurg stomper that Connor wait, would never wait, do. Wait, what the fuck? Why, Why did Zip Zap just leave please? the call? Rest in peace, Zip Zap. The woman just left the call for no reason. Dude. Can we make fun of her now for being a woman? <laughs> Smaggle, I don't know why I platformed you. Yeah, that that didn't seem like a good idea, didn't it? Yeah, it real, I, I don't know, you know, <laughs> how did it turn out, yeah. You know, you know, I think it's it's better than Aiden. Dude, you know the original, you know, I want Aiden on as the original co-host of the DotCast, but Aiden never responded to my DMs. Yeah, good. And then now he yeah. asks people, I need a podcast to join. You know, Hook is falling apart, they're all like, you know, having gay sex over there or whatever. Yeah, so, so Aiden, So Aiden is just like... Wait, no, Aiden would be- Oh, wait, no, that's probably not a good analogy since Aiden's gay. And he's also oh, underage. Hell, hell. Oh, yeah, he's also underage, yeah. Yeah, wait, nice one, Smaggle, yeah. yeah, Smaggle, yeah, why, nice do you, why do you have to focus? Yeah. Why do you focus? Why do you, have to, why do you always have to talk about the age? Like, why do you- uh, I mean, you... age is just the number, Doc. All right, Mr. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. You guys watch the text video? Yeah, says that, of course. Yeah, it's calling, coming from Follow Smaggle. the woman's back. What's up? Mm -hmm. I'm back. Guys, this is my wife. No. Wait, you're over the age of 18, right? Yeah, she's over. Yeah. She's, okay. she's literally 18. Like. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, anyway, she's waiting. Wait. Smack, what do you have to say? What, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Wanna say do you want to talk about Epstein more? Is Mr. Nobody 18 over? Or he's yeah. 22, dude. He's 22. You know where I met Mr. Nobody? I met him in Chadville. Okay. I don't care. I was playing on the Blaze SMP. It, it, uh, the season two in Shadville. Oh wait, no, I was uh, actually I wasn't on Blaze SMP at that time. I, I remember him turning on his face cam. Okay, and I just see this gruff Mexican dude. You know, and he was a really he was a really nice fellow. Like what we had a really good nice conversation Mexican? about Me no, because we talked about Mexico. I, I had a, I had okay. a really in depth conversation with him about Mexico and in the public VC of Chadville, and he seemed like a really nice guy. I was like, oh cool. He probably really liked the. And then, uh, I followed him on Twitter, and he and he groomed the child. So. There you go. He didn't just grab a child, he fucking sent dick pics. And, and he was oh. pornography. And he was a furry. Why are you exposing yourself? Like, Um, you know, I think you gotta help yourself to help anyone else first. So okay. why did, why did, uh, Jaywin promote Mr. Nobody on YouTube? <laughs> he probably, um, I mean, she probably didn't know. I think she, she thought, like, Mr. Nobody was just too base to have, like, that little amount of subscribers, so, like, yeah, just push comes to shove, and boom, Mr. Nobody gets yeah. more on the platform. You see, I have a Probably. smaggle question here. Can you call a trans oh gay God. pedophile the N-word? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just, you know, I- Well, hold on, actually, it depends if they're black, oh my yes, God. if they're not black, no. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Thanks, it's, Smaggle. Wow, that's... Man, the, the jury deliberation is just... Look, it, it doesn't make sense for calling, like, the Jewish, the... Like, the K-Jewish, the... Okay, okay, I have, I have well, a Mexican. list of topics. It doesn't make any sense. You're, you're Mexican? Wait, what? No, I... What the fuck? No wonder it explains a lot. No, nobody Are said I was Mexican. You're I, Edwin. I, <laughs> you're you're not Edwin. You're Edwin. Mexican, dude? Dude, that's, yeah. that fucking sucks, man. I'm sorry for your loss. Wait, what's I wrong really with hate you? Oh my god. Sorry for your loss. No! I have a list I of topics wish... here, and I and we're talking about Epstein, Mr. Nobody, and then Mexicans. Welcome back to the Yachts well, then again, podcast. Yes, and then again, I talked, I kind of brought up the Mexican thing, but I mean, yeah. I didn't, I didn't say Mexicans were like a problem. I didn't say that. You got something against? Yeah, that that's what Zip Zap said. Yo, fucking Apparently. speaking of pedophiles, did you all see that remains came back to Twitter? Like, Dude, officially? Okay, I hate the fact how the the quote-unquote victim, okay? I say quote-unquote victim because this person is still engaging with remains, okay? If you if you know that this person uh, is like a groomer, right, who shouldn't be like doing the thing, then I don't know why you still engage. It's, it's, they're probably, they're probably like, they're getting epstein -ed. I, that's that's literally what happened. Right. They're getting yeah. They're they're obsessed. They're getting stalked. You know, it's it's shocked. You know, if they aren't gonna if they are gonna keep engaging with the dude, uh, we uh, cut them off from the community or whatever. But uh, honestly, you, I don't care. Hold on, are you saying that the little ass is begging for it? What Josh Pestacore style, what? whatever his name was. Smaggle, could you elaborate on what you just said? What do you mean? Everything you said is is gonna be on here. I, I'm okay, already, I'm gonna upload. Uh, okay, yeah, I shouldn't. I feel like we need a disclaimer. You wanted him on this podcast. Yeah, no, he wanted me. He wanted no, 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 no. I'm gonna leak Twitter DMs here. He was like, "Hey, Doc, can I take you up on your offer?" Oh my god. That's it. That's all I said. Doc, can I take you up on your offer? You agreed. So.
You know, Wait, Jeffrey Stop. Epstein didn't kill him. That sounds like uh, you guys are fucking asswipes. Did you cope? Don't worry, you'll be at three K by the you'll be at three K by the end of the end of the month. Exactly. I still have to fucking shave my hair because of a fucking. Why promise do you I have to shave? Ago. You're you're saying you're I, calling me stupid, and, dude, and you're already going to go. Uh, you're already going to become a skinhead. Dude, I, I go, I go, because I was like fucking all my knees begging for subscribers as I was losing it. And back in like September, I was like, hey guys, if I, if I reach 2,500 subscribers before the end of 2021, I, I will shave my hair bald. And a fucking radster, you know, him being the cuck that he is, he had to dig through my goddamn tweets to find that so he can get the, uh -huh, I gotcha, shave your head, asswipe. Uh, and radster, if you're watching this, I hope you die a miserable death. Honestly, so he's he's see, kind of know. based. Razor's kind of based. Not gonna lie. Yeah. And I want to say he's a king. He's he's a king in every way. You Dude, you cope, you actually head. just cope so hard that the fact that you have to shave your head. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. Need, I'm gonna. Dude. You know, you know what? Head. That's gonna be. I'm gonna have the next dot cast thumbnail. It's gonna just gonna be your shaved head. It's gonna be your shaved <laughs> yes. head with a parental advisory sticker next to it, and it, the the title is gonna be the dot cast episode seven Nazis. In the commentary community, <laughs> <laughs> Nazis and pedophiles as commentators. But yeah, what is wrong with like... being a Nazi? There's nothing wrong with being that. Yeah, what what um, what is wrong with what is what is there to be a Nazi? What do you yeah. even do, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not white, so I can't really relate. But... Would you kill a Nazi if they were a pedophile? <laughs> Would you call yeah. the Nazi? No, the they're based. Yeah, I what? Would you call a Nazi the N word? It depends if they're black. Well, all I guess is gonna get one of us canceled in the near future. <laughs> Dude, nobody no watches this far black... in the podcast. There's no fine. such thing as a black Nazi. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you think they'd be Smaggle, depressed? Smaggle. I beg to differ because it, there was one instance in South Carolina when, or was it South Carolina? I don't know, but it was in a certain state where there was a uh, college student who was black and he hung his Confederate flag. David Plex. Uh, probably, but the the dude—I mean, the dude wasn't an actual Nazi. He just like Southern heritage. I was gonna no, make, I... a, you know, I was planning on making a song about Alabama Edwin, but then I looked up a Johnny Rebel song, and it's on YouTube, so I presume it's banned. That sounds awful. No, the song. Okay, but... listen, you could take. What? I think that song should be on YouTube. All right, every any kind of music should be well, on YouTube. Yeah, like if anyone wants to make whatever they want on YouTube, yeah. But if it's not like harming anyone, then yeah. Did you all know like, that there's naked yoga on YouTube? Yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Nobody. Thank you. Thank you for bringing I, that up. Why wow, are you looking at it? You looking at that? Yeah, dude, it's fucking... Yeah, hell yeah, dude. What? Is mo is mommy not letting you on porn sites now because you looked dude, up yeah, the Yeah, the, uh, the fucking firewall is just... It's just insane. Dude, he's on the school Wi-Fi grind. <laughs> You know, um, my at my old school, just they, had, looking it up. they had like, uh, they had like these old iPads and people would just get their iPads hacked because it was just on the school server. So, really? Yeah, so literally, I think the FBI almost got involved. Like, when their emails were hacked, were they getting, like, sent anything? Or, like, just Yeah, hacked? they got sent, um, they got sent 9-11 pictures. And they got their Based. backgrounds of their emails changed to 9-11. Based. That's what Based. happened. You know how I know? It's because somebody, I was in class and somebody, somebody screen shared their iPad or whatever, mirrored their iPad to the, to the screen or whatever. And it was literally just a picture of 9-11 in their emails. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, okay. okay. Uh, I mean, this wouldn't fly today, but... <laughs> I got a funny story from school. So, like, uh, oh, eighth grade health class, oh, my they, were God. Showing the, they were showing oh, this no. film. They were showing this film about, uh, I don't know, like, some kind of disease and this really inspirational story but like at the ending like uh his his son because it's a dad his son comes over and they kiss and i just shouted gay and then you i would, got it you would do something like that yeah sounds like something you do i'm sorry i'm still fixated on the son kissing the dad and and not like, a the dad screaming. tom brady uh it, i think it was gronkowski oh Wait, how? Wait, no, because Tom, Tom Brady kissed his son, which is pretty, like, I mean, uh, I mean, that's not, like, like was it on that's the pretty head gay, but like... it's, like, not, like, I mean, it's on the lips. I feel I like Tom Brady's a little gay. bit I mean, well. he's a little, it's a little bit of a bromance, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bromance kind of... with your 10-year-old child. <laughs> of course. It's kind, yeah, it's would you kind call of gay, it... it's kind of incest, you know. Anime fans What do you call a seven-time Super Bowl champion incestuous father, then? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the NFL for you. Okay, if Tom Brady wins this, the the next Super Bowl, then I'm gonna call him the N word. You hear okay. that? Uh, you hear that ex um ex NFL star beat his wife? Dude, Thanks. yeah, you fucking threw her into a TV, dude. That was I actually think... one of the topics I wanted to talk about. Holy but then shit, again, there's nothing really based. to talk about. That is literally unironically based as fuck. Smagle, if you watch the footage, the the woman literally ragdolled. I'm not even joking. He threw her across the room and she ragdolled. <laughs> It felt like a game of Happy Wheels, dude. He you wanted know? her to look like the women from the TV, bro. <laughs> oh my I'm god. Done. <laughs> Sometimes dude. you just gotta give him a little push. Hold on, hold on. did he turn her into Stretch Armstrong? Like, dude, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. I no. Think, I think he just wanted higher standards. You know, maybe we should rename this podcast to the No Fucking Optics Podcast. <laughs> Uh, should it just be optics, optics not included? So That'd actually be a pretty good name. I mean, some be like I believe like some podcast names are like the awful. Like I don't know if your podcast just like remains around one thing, then I believe that's just so boring. Yeah, I saw on Twitter it was from uh, it was from Bella uh, that that like mm-hmm. e girl or whatever. She was like, "What should I name my podcast?" And one of the options was Basement Dwellers. And I'm like, "Oh man, you really don't want to touch grass, do you?" Dude, usually people who are like um, they name their like podcast after the basement. They usually just attract basement dwellers. So, what are I mean, you? It's simple. What are you eating? What the fuck is that? Chips. Hey, uh, entire cast. Who's the uh, who's Brazo? Who's this Brazo Bra- guy? Oh my fucking god, dude! Okay, I see him like so on my get- timeline sometimes. I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, y'all remember the drama with uh, Jaden where she fucking made a video on Technoblade and people got really upset about that Wait, during like yeah. the prime of was cancer it the guy, Was it the guy that made like a three minute video on Technoblade's cancer? Yes, uh, and then uh, Optimus yeah. made a video. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I yeah. know he is. Yeah. Um, it, it, this is Brasso. Okay, he made. Uh, I think over 20 videos regarding the diagnosis of Technoblade's cancer. For um, real? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's deleted a lot of them. One of his fucking videos was Technoblade faked it. Um, How do you nice. just go on like that and just say, Hey guys, welcome back to another video with like Minecraft ga- gameplay in the background and just say, Hey guys, Technoblade is faking his cancer again or something like that. Like, Apparently that fucking title was about Technoblade's meetup, like his fan meetup, but it was... Very much clickbait to, like, talk about the cancer. There's no way around that shit. He made a promise that every single penny he makes from ad revenue goes to charity and shit like that. Uh, And he made one video donating $300 to some random fucking cancer research that doesn't even look legitimate. But, um, fucking, not only has it been taken down, but, like, if you fucking do a little bit of basic math, you can find out he makes more than $300 for, uh... Okay, is I'm gonna videos? stop you there. All right, I think, I'm okay, I'm gonna go a little bit nuclear here, alright? I think you can make a video on anything on YouTube. Uh, honestly, I don't really care what you profit off of, because if you're like a news corporation, or you're a journal, you write hit pieces, or you write news stories about like terrorist attacks or whatever, okay? And yeah. so why can't YouTube commentators do the same thing? Why is this guy I- bad? I mean, my problem is that he's, like, maximizing it and then clickbaiting it to, like, a really high degree. And then when he gets fucking criticized for that shit, he will, like, try to dig up past shit from, like, the people criticizing them to try to invalidate them. Like, he fucking- he claimed that, uh, Jaden was bullying people to suicide in his response video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so, I I don't agree with the first part of that, but, like, the second part where you're talking about digging up the past thing, yeah, that's- that's pretty bad. Yeah, I, but I agree with his measures. That's pretty based. Okay. Smaggle, you're all literally right, fucking autistic. <laughs> Smaggle, you're already going to get cancer and nobody's going to come to your help. Good. <laughs> yeah, you didn't expect that, didn't so, you? So, bitch? so Smaggle, um, I have a question. So, Augie said on his last stream that uh, you were trying to call into the streams to farm cloud. Is that true? No, I was trying to farm. I was trying to get in so I could fucking be autistic on stream. He said that he said that you you wanted to get in there so that you can uh, quip jump him and get cloud off of him. He's just retarded because. Damn. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. He's it. just retarded. I don't know why they keep you around, but then again, I know why because you're on my podcast. Exactly, bitch. Smaggle's kind of like the retard token. So they can all get the pass. Well, they already have Bobadak, so... That is true. Maybe they just want to do, like, a battle of the retards between you two one of these days. Can an autistic, BLM-loving white male say the N-word? Yes. Why? There doesn't really need to be a reason. 
It's just, yes. I, I think there needs to be a reason. You know, as, as you can fucking tell, I'm fucking bored as all hell. This is boring me. This is unironically boring me. Okay, like, but uh, you're, uh, you're okay. Well, what am I supposed to talk about? You're already talking about Epstein. I don't want to talk about Epstein at all. Well, that time. was a more interesting thing than whatever the fuck you're talking about, like the NFTs. Like, oh yeah, all of our audience is gonna relate into. Wait, but you NFTs. wait, but you That's... already suggested. Weren't you the one that suggested Mr. Beast like scamming people from the NFTs? He was promoting yes, a pump I... and dump. I did, yeah. Yeah, you did. So then why are you saying it's all boring? It. Yeah, talk about it, Smaggle. You already no. suggested a topic. Talk about it. No, nope. Fuck you. No. Nope. <laughs> wow, Smaggle died with hypocrisy. <laughs> yeah. Getting kneeled on. You know, guys, this is really boring. There's no real good <laughs> topics we talk, talk about. Uh, NFTs are really boring, but let's talk about this Mr. Beast pump and dump scandal. Yeah. <laughs> pump and dump. Pump and dump <laughs> you know, scandal. You know, Doc, maybe Mr. Beast will pump and dump you someday. Uh, you know, I'll just use the written house precedent. I'm not saying I want to kill Mr. Beast. I'm saying if, if he if he's the aggressor, then I'll sh then I have to you know, maintain my ground somehow. That is true. That is true. I gotta take a gigantic shit right now. Did you all play uh, Grand Theft Auto the trilogy? No, I. Oh wait, Smaggle did. Wait, no, Smaggle, did you did. No, I didn't. Smaggle no, has no, has no, some no, opinions no, about no. the definitive edition, don't no, you? No, Dude, no, 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 Smaggle, no, not, Smaggle was no, like Smaggle. No, I, Unlike y'all, I did not buy it. I have the GTA. I, I have the GTA I definitive did not edition. Buy it. I'm gonna play GTA. I did GTA. not buy it. I did not buy it. Fuck off! I did not oh, buy it. Oh, uh, Smaggle. Now it's now it's a little bit more interesting, huh? Now you're oh gonna talk. Oh my god! Yeah, you bought the yeah. you bought GTA thinking mm -hmm. it was gonna be good, and you're like, oh, I bought GTA, and then it was garbage. It was really like the worst rated video game on like Metacritic or whatever site. Okay, it's it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. Like, it's, pretty it's bad. really bad. It's really, it's bad, really dude. bad. No, no, no. GTA Three is really bad. Uh, <laughs> Which is part City of the is... definitive edition, isn't it? Vice City is actually pretty good. Okay. My... But the fucking model in my hair is like fucking glitching out. And like I can see into his fucking skull. So What's that's your favorite not... mission from GTA Definitive Edition? What's your favorite mission? Uh I haven't really played enough of, of like the game to say. Wait, then oh, why did you... Oh, scene. oh, that's the... Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I love sex and games. I wish, Doc, you could do that to me, you know? Yeah. Yo, my favorite mod is the hot coffee mod. So, is that How it? many black people did you kill in GTA? Uh, six million. <laughs> plus. Wow, they make up 13% of the population. Yeah, but commit 88% of the crime. Oh my god. I don't god. think that's how it works. Well, hopefully this will be a regular thing. We'll see you next week. Everyone is Probably gay. Won't. Wait, Fuck the you. woman's typing. My bad. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, we can't trust people that are down south. All right. Or that have vagina. See you guys later. Hello, DocCast audience. It is your favorite co-host, Anonymity, here to give a little statement. Um, I'd ask Doc if I could say something about this matter on the podcast to make it official that I am going to be resigning. Um, this may be shocking to some of you, I'm sure, as we are the best YouTube podcast of all time. Uh, I, I can give you a few reasons. Um, for one, I do not have the time that I used to have to be able to record podcasts frequently, um, and quality-wise. Um, I was not very happy with the quality of the past few episodes and, and how those went in Partly that is my fault, but um, I, I think if I'm going to ever create a podcast, I want it to be the best thing that it can be, um, and that's that's my my Achilles heel with all content creation because um, I have the same motto for everything, which is quality over quantity. Um, most of my free time online was being spent doing the podcast. Which to Doc may seem a little strange, but I genuinely do not have much free time in my life. And if I could spend that time that I do have working on main channel content consistently and putting that out for everyone that watches it and supports me a lot more frequently, I would feel a lot better with myself than I do now. Um, while it sucks that I have to not be able to do this anymore, uh, I, I think that 
it's going to work a lot better for everyone involved. Um, I think the podcast can do a lot better, and I hope that we continue to grow and evolve and get better. Um, so for now, at this point in time, uh, I'm going to be stepping down. So thank you guys very much for watching the podcast. I hope it continues to grow and get better. And if it doesn't, um, well, I guess it just peaked at me. <laughs> um, thank you guys very much. And I will see you all, hopefully, rather soon.